Hey everybody, this is Alan. I'm here from the MH Fools, and today I'm going to be doing a review on my new Monster High Eye Hair Fashion Y Donut Spider. So let's start with her um, colossal box. So her box is um, bigger than the usual ones because um, she comes with extra outfits, of course. So of course they have the regular logo and it says Monster High, of course, and it says right here, spinning a web of fashion with her little kind of skelet but it's like a spider instead. And then it has this beautiful drawing of her, which is just, oh my gosh, so amazing. And it has her logo once again, and it says, Wait on Spider, Daughter of Arachne. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And on the top of her box, she has a bunch of web designs with the little spiders of her. As you can see, um, in shiny, kind of silvery, I mean, yeah, shiny platformish. Um, you can see that it kind of says her name right there. It's kind of shiny. And then, of course, I have the zipper design. So, on this side, they have the Monster High logo with kind of the zipper design and the regular, um, like, chain and stuff with a little spider of her. It's nice and red and black. This, I think that red and black go together really nicely. And then it says, Monster High, yourself being a key and monster. We got the spider, daughter of Arachne. And then... Um, wow, that, that, in, ugh, I cannot speak again, that illustration of her is just so beautiful, I love her so much, and I'm just super uh, excited to have her, so, um, here's like a little note that, she, um, my donut kind of wrote, so you guys can pause and read that, along with XX my donut, which is kiss kiss, and then on this side of the box just says Monster High and has a little piece of her hair showing. So that's it for the box. So um, before I begin with the doll, I'm just going to show you... Actually, nah, never mind. So her hair is red. Of course, it's a beautiful scarlet red with a little bit of a hard bump in the front of her um, head. Like she has in her uh, Weberella um, doll. And then she has a um, cute high ponytail that goes all the way down to, um, let's say, her chest area, sort of. So I'll show you the back. It's just really pretty. And I noticed one thing. If you look in the box, uh, she has, like, little yellow strands of hair um, in her um, hair, which it looks really cute. Um, I wish they added that to the doll, but then again, it would be kind of... A hassle adding all those little strands, so it's okay themselves. He still did a really great job on Miss White and Spider. So, yeah, that was a motorcycle. Um, please excuse all the extra noise in the background. So, her eyes, of course, um, her makeup on her eyes. Let me just try to get focus. Focus, bliss, bliss. Uh, Okay, so anyways, her um, makeup on her eyes is blue, kind of a light blue, with, and it's kind of shiny down there. Um, you guys can't really tell because it won't focus. Let me try to get focus. Focus, please. On my donut spider. Uh, okay, so that's not going to work, but her eyes are red, and she has a little bit of a shimmery eyeshadow at the bottom. As you can see, it kind of takes out pretty long um, for her eyelashes, and it has a little bit of yellow in it, which is super cute. I really like it. And her lips are a very bright blue, with, of course, her black veins, with which um, really accent her, I really think so. And then her ears are kind of pointy, and then she has some little web earrings. Okay, now on to her dress. It is a... Clawsome, very detailed dress, I swear, it is one of my favorite dresses ever. Um, so, it has a beautiful ruined red collar that goes all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, if you look closely onto her dress, try to focus it. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, it looks like that's not going to work. Let me zoom out. Zoom back in. Zoom out. Okay. So as you can see that um, she has a little Weberella right there, has Poulter Ghoul, which is Spectra, and yeah, it's like a bunch of comic book strips, which is awesome. And she has this um, metallic silver wraparound belt that um, you could actually take off separately if you would like. 
to them like put on any of the other outfits, which I already tried it out. Not so good. But her belt um, definitely looks good on this yellow dress, and I'll show you um, her in all the outfits later on. So yeah, it's a silver metallic um, belt, and it has a skull out. And then her shoes, or her boots, I could say, are silver with a little bit of a webby design and um, these little like red spinny web thingies which are really cool to play with. Yeah. <laughs> so then she comes with these jewelry like um, she comes with silver, bangles, um, a spiked yellow bracelet, a spiked blue cuff, a spiked yellow cuff, white, I mean, yeah white spiked bracelet and some blue bangles along with a painted on fingerless glove which is really cute i think um Mattel did a really good job on this doll once again so yeah that is her and of course she comes with a stand and a brush so i'm going to show you in her next outfit so i'll see you then okay so i'm finally back and um it takes me about five minutes or like two or three to get her in this outfit because Let's say it's kind of a half, like you have to take off some of her arms, and it's just kind of hard, but I have one statement. For those of you who think that this necklace goes with this, it doesn't. These bracelets do. Because, um, I don't think many people notice that, but next to the shoes on the shelf, there's a little plastic thingy with these two bracelets that go with this. Because of the color combo, so, just wanted to point that out. So yeah, here is her second outfit. It is a um, light blue, kind of a baby blue. Um, hold on, sorry about my finger. Um, it's a it's a light blue chain necklace that has um, kind of two layers to it, and a very simple um, yellow um, one shoulder dress, and it's kind of short, goes all the way to like the top of her thighs. And as you can see, I added the same belt because I think it kind of looks good on her, right? And she also comes with these leggings, which are the same design as the box, um, the box insert of the uh, Weberella box. If you guys um, know who she is or um, know what that looks like, and then she has these cute little bright yellow web um, heels that are just kind of simple yellow with a little bit of a web design on them. So yeah. That is her second outfit. Okay, so here is the last and um, final outfit. So um, it's kind of the more casual, more kind of nighttime look. It's um, a cute blouse. It's white, black, um, metallic silver that says flat with a little bit of red and um, yellow. And it has a little bit of polka dots at the bottom with a mini skirt that is colorful with a bunch of crooked stripes. Um, it is, um, gray, red, and yellow. And then she also has these boots that are, um, plain white, and they are, um, they are, yeah, they're lacy boots, and then they have these little kind of cute skeletons right there. I'll try to put in the shade so you guys can kind of see that. Yeah, you can see that there. Uh, not focusing there you go and then she has these um, red dots on her boots which are the same as her purse that I forgot to mention in the beginning it's white with the polka dots but they're black this time with the red web designs as you can see the detail in the uh, fake pockets that won't work for real and then um, her purse actually opens so if you just kind of flip it open you guys can put like Little bracelets, because she came with extra bracelets. As you can see, she's wearing the square ones that I mentioned in the second part. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Why Don't a Spider. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe to my account to become an MH school. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!